My name is Eric Spear. I'm a Vice President of Technology for Zipcar, Division of Avis Budget Group. I'd say legislation passing. Um, if I compare where we were in March of 2015 to December of 2015, significant amount of legislation has passed uh, to make it make the legality issues, the risk mitigation levels, um, topics that were of concern are, are now widely dis distributed and people are much more comfortable with. So the technology will always be there, but actually the, um, the risk mitigation is really where I think the, uh, the progress is made. Okay. Technology's got to be uh, cheaper and faster. Uh, if you just look at with the progress NVIDIA has made with the uh, consolidation and the density of their server technologies, uh, that's going to help speed things along. I think the one thing that if we all need to put more attention on is um, standards, engineering standards, uh, to help, again, mitigate risk, but also unify and actually accelerate this thing. So from a global perspective, I think everyone wants autonomous cars. It really comes down to the thresholds of willingness to have innovation and return. So what we've seen here in the Valley has been amazing. Uh, what we'll see out of pockets coming out of Michigan, CMU, MIT, uh, Toyota, Toyota's Research Institute between Palo Alto and, and Boston, um, I expect to see a lot more happen at the regional level. Mm -hmm. I expect to see more chances being taken versus sort of the traditional monolithic uh, development in the auto industry, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's done for a particular reason, but I think this is the area where people are willing to take more chances and see faster development. It's one of these things where you're not quite sure where to start. Um, there is no, no standard recipe for autonomous cars, no beginning, middle, and end. So we're all in it together. Um, ultimately, my company and my role is a consumer of autonomy, but also a provider of autonomy to our members. I can think of no other, no other better place to start than uh, um, in, the, in the deep end with everyone else. They're trying to figure out you know, what's the technology, what's the cars, what's the legislation, um, who's going to manufacture, who's going to take on the risk. Um, prefer to be part of those discussions up front to help influence, because I think we have a pretty interesting perspective on how to consume autonomous cars. It's been great. It's uh, it's a learning experience for everyone. No one, no one single company or, or organization has the answer. Uh, if they did, you know, they'd be leading the shows. Everyone's trying to find their way in the dark room to find that light switch to say, how do we get autonomous cars out there? But the best part about it is, I think traditional manufacturing, traditional mindsets around the automotive industry need to be rethought. And this is a good example in the show and some of the folks I've met with. So. Were there any uh, sessions that you found particularly interesting? I think sort of the historic ones, the workshops from yesterday around uh, IEEE and, and the other standards where it came out of DARPA. Um, one for a contextual understanding of where people's perceptions were and where those are going to help base change and speed 